decided to do something a little different because I had less time, and this theoretically should take less time than uh, writing a whole blog post, but I'm not sure what uh, I was going to talk about today since not much happened today. Um, and then I looked down at my wrist and I realized that um, I never really told the story um, about uh, how I got this red string on my wrist from Pushkar. Um, and so this was from India, um, so it's been like almost two weeks now. Um, and we, Max and I were walking through the market. Um, we had just come back from our bike ride, um, so we were all hot and sweaty. Um, and some guy handed us just the tops of like two marigolds or something like that, some sort of flower, um, and told us to go um, and go to the lake and get, you know, blessed or whatever. Um, so we're carrying around these flowers, and uh, I keep teasing him that they were holy flowers, so he couldn't just drop them anywhere, and he just wanted to drop them and leave. But we were in Pushkar, like the holy city, um, and so it was really funny because people saw us with these flowers, and they kept directing us to where we needed to go because the lake was fairly was pretty dried up so there's really only one place where there was water still left um, so we get there and there's this large um, I don't know like portal uh, with these steps down into the river I think that's called a gat G H A T um, when there's steps down to a river or down to the lake but I'm not for sure um, so we go down the steps um, they take the f they they see the flowers, and we each get like a holy man, like automatically attached to us. And so they kind of separate us, take us down there. Um, so me and my holy guy uh, are sitting um, right next to this like squared off portion of the lake. And uh, so we have my, I have my hands out with my flower in the hand, and then he starts putting like um, rice so that I'll have a. Uh, a like bountiful life and then sugar so that I'll have a sweet life and then um, colors so that I'll have a colorful life and all these things and so he takes my hands and we um, he has me repeat some some God's names after him and some holy words um, in the middle he describes um, what pushkar means um, it means like flower in the hand or pu either push means either hand or flower and car means whatever the other one is um, so at the end of this whole ceremony, um, I get this uh, red string tied around my wrist, um, and uh, he's like, you can go into any temple now, and no one will ever harass you because you have this red string. Um, and it was it was also a bit of a ploy to get uh, donations to their, um, their charity or whatnot, so kind of pressured us both. But <laughs> Max, of course, was like, I'm not going to give them donations. Um, so that's how I got this red string on my wrist, um, which I guess leads me to the other things that are on my wrist right now, um, one of which is this watch that I've had um, since I've been, actually I got it the day that I left Seattle. Um, my flight got delayed by two hours, which is, thankfully I still made my flight to Istanbul, um, but my parents took me shopping at a mall and I said that I didn't have a watch because usually I just use my cell phone when I'm in the U.S., but not in Istanbul because my cell phone didn't work. So they got me this watch, and I've been wearing it ever since. And it's starting to get a little, a little wet, and like, starting to show wear, which is sad. Um, but it still looks fine. And the last thing on my wrist today, yesterday I decided that I needed to work on my project more, so I wrote motivate on my wrist. So it's been helping, um, which is why this video needs to end. And I will, I guess you'll hear from me tomorrow. Bye.